All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rick Kamla and Brent Berry. As we talk to you, it's April 1st. But what we don't have is an April Fool's joke. But we do have April Fool's gold. We do. We're going to talk about Atomic Number 79, Rick. We thought it'd be interesting today to took, take a look at the top six teams in the National Basketball Association, both East and West, and talk about some of the gold standards they set, and also some of the pyrite, the fool's gold, what might ail them come playoff time. So we're going to start with the number one team in the league. In my opinion, the Oklahoma City, the way they've been playing lately, everybody healthy, a great run of games beating the Heat, beating the Lakers. Uh, taking down the Bulls without Derrick Rose and the dynamic trio of Durant, Westbrook, and Harden playing fantastic. But the Pyrite for them, maybe the Fool's Gold, do they have enough poise this year at the point guard position? Lots of talk about Westbrook last year, Royal Ivy, a backup, and then, of course, a lot of attention over the past couple weeks about the Oklahoma City team picking up Derrick Fisher and all that playoff experience. That Will that be enough for that team? We'll have to see. Secondly, San Antonio Spurs in the West. Greg Popovich, this is him elated. I don't want to see him mad then. Okay, well, <laughs> trust me. He's happy because this guy right here is feeling as good, Tim Duncan, as he's felt in the past three or four seasons. Tony Parker being mentioned as a possible MVP candidate this year. Manu Ginobili getting himself healthy. Early injuries this season, but working himself back into shape. You know they have a lot of corporate knowledge and know-how, but their pie right Maybe the fool's goal for them is the production at the four. Can they get enough from Splitter when they play big teams? Can they get enough from Blair on the inside? And then the addition of Boris Diaw, a true French connection between Parker and Diaw. Will those guys at the four spot be enough for San Antonio come playoff time? And don't forget the Red Rocket. The Lakers in L.A. still got to love their size between Bynum, maybe not shooting threes, but Bynum on the inside and Gasol on the inside finding their way around this Mike Brown offense. They've been a little bit better as of late. You can never count out Kobe Bryant, the Mamba. Big games against the Golden State Warriors where he finished off the game strong and the Hornets late. But their pyrite, I'm wondering about that three spot. Can they get consistent play out of Meta World Peace or Matt Barnes come playoff time? Can they consistently knock down the three-point shot? Because they just, quite frankly, don't have any shooting. And then the bench, can their bench provide them some kind of lift? The sessions pickup was huge, but can Blake come in and do some things? Can their bench provide some production so you're not leaning on the starting group throughout a seven-game series? I don't think they have enough in terms of their firepower in the Western Conference, the way their bench is set up. 